Welcome back to PTO. Is your house decorated for the holidays yet? I'm mostly decorated. We, we still have to get the outside lights on, but that's not on me. It's on my husband. <laughs> yeah. Our next guest is here to help you deck the halls with the new products that can help make the job a little easier and faster. We like that. Yeah, absolutely. And they make them work a lot better. And, you know, there's so much in the Christmas lights itself. I mean, everything from the rope lights to your LEDs to your traditional ones, so forth. There's so many choices out there. There are and so many choices. right now as far as doing it, but you pick the lights, now what are you gonna do with them? Mm -hmm. And yeah. then it comes to all the different types of extension cords you need or the cords that have the multiple plugs on them make it a lot easier for it, but well, when you're, Doing the outside, the biggest enemy is the weather. water, yeah. the weather, and so forth. So right. Frankie's putting up those Christmas lights. Mine are done already. Um, <laughs> well, it's a matter. Good for you, Thanks. Andy. I just thought I'd throw that. <laughs> Mine are up too. I have nothing well, to do with the Good for you, inside. Mary. <laughs> we'll get our mom. You know, Don't but, worry. But they make devices <laughs> for protecting the cords. Right. So when you're doing the extension cords, <laughs> the the centers go in and you close them, seal them up, and it keeps all the water out of them. It's a lot better than trying to put, you know, just saran Something, wrap and right. electric taper all that kind of stuff with it but also a lot of people use spike lights for screwing in the light bulbs and so forth and once again the biggest enemy is water so they make gaskets seals oh. that you put around the bulbs before you put them in mm -hmm. and that way that bulb that you think just burned out it didn't it got water down around the socket and it causes the lights to burn out so get yourself a gasket to put around the bulb so it doesn't burn out from the rain because I think the our weather forecasters always predict this rain I and know. You know, beautiful cold snow rain. and cold Who would and do all that, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Why can't we decorate in the middle of the summer? I know. You know but, Leave your uh, lights up all year round. Why that's, not? That's a good reason. <laughs> you said but another big thing to think about though was timers. timers. There's all these different type of timers that you can use for doing it. And there's as simple as this type that you plug your lights in and has a remote control. Okay. So you could put that outside. outside inside, there's one you just plug in and set the rotating timer on it. There's stakes where you stick it in the ground, you put all the plugs into it. Mm -hmm. Some have timers on it, some don't. But now there's even timers for smart timers. Mm -hmm. There's an indoor one, an outdoor one, and these are ones that you are just plugging the device into the wall and you use your smartphone to turn the lights on and off with. Or, you know, if you're tired of crawling behind that Christmas tree to turn the lights on and off, I mean, old school is just a plug adapter. You plug it in, put the lights on, a little switch on top of it, which right. still is a lot easier than pulling it in and out. But how about a device like this where you have three different ones, you put your tree on one, you plug the tree into it, you have a remote control that you just <laughs> sit out to turn the tree on and off. But one, I know you have little kids, just send I them back know. there to turn them on. Well, you. you could do that, but one year you did bring like a little floor stomper oh, yeah. that turns yeah, it off and switch. on. I forgot yeah. to bring that today. It's like you a little red button on the extension cord. Yeah. That was a great one. My but, mom has one of those. Yeah. yeah, but you know, there's all those ways of making it simpler for doing it. Or a lot of people have the ceramic houses and so forth and they lose the plugs or break them or the dog chews them and so Ugh. forth. You know, you can replace those uh, for the lights. And then there's all the different type of plug adapters uh, for plugging multiple things into it using something as simple as your zip ties or suction cups for putting wreaths up and holiday yeah. decorations or for the, window? the candle lights right next to it is a candle light holder made by suction cups and Here clips where you just hold that in oh. because instead of trying to put it on that little oh my window gosh. seal you yeah. have. This makes so much sense. Yeah, it, it, it does. It makes a lot of sense for doing it. And there's even a tool, you know me and tools, this is a light set repair tool. Oh. So you have all those light sets and you have one light that goes bad or oh, a string yeah. that goes bad. This repairs them for you so you don't have to throw them out. So something you can still do is get the tree preserve and that will help keep Absolutely. you. Something that if you already have your tree up you can't do is the bag. It's the tree bag underneath. Yeah, you <laughs> put that tree bag underneath and then at the end after you pull all those ornaments off you pull the bag up, oh. tie it on top, and carry it out without losing a million needles. Uh, you could still take that bag and put it down yeah. over top of it. And but it's then gonna it's help, gonna brush all those. but it's still gonna brush on it. But that pre tree preserve is, is really important to keep the tree alive. And then these are type of outdoor hooks. clips, oh, yeah. hooks, gutter light. hooks, and so forth. Or even, the, you know, if you want to put hooks up permanently, these are a type of uh, screw-in hooks in white or brass 
that you could put in, and those are almost invisible the rest of the year, and then you don't have to worry about it coming in and out. Okay, but well, you know, you, timers, switches, gadgets. If you need help with fun. all of these thingamabobs, come see Andy yeah. Amrine of EV True Value Hardware. They're located in Bethel Park. And thank, thank you, you as always. Sure. Yes, and still ahead, I'm so intrigued by the name of this new holiday celebration in town. Okay, it's called Yinzer Yuletide. And up next, we'll find out why it could become a new tradition for your family. And stay with us for a PCL preview of a new art exhibit, exhibit, exhibit excuse me, in town where you can not only see the art, but also make your own as well. We'll be right back.